Hello everyone, welcome to this video where um, I will explain a cryptographic technique called as Caesar cipher. This is basically a substitution technique. So what, what do you mean by a substitution technique? Uh, why it is called Caesar cipher? Let us understand this in this particular video. Now, this, uh, there are varieties of substitution techniques used in the cryptography. Okay, so in the substitution method, what exactly we do is we actually replace each and every uh, alphabet or a word of a plain text by equivalent cipher text or a cipher alphabet. So we are substituting one letter to the other letter by using different techniques. Okay, that is replacing a plain text bit pattern. Suppose you are actually trying to transmit a sequence of bits. In that case, so the string of bits are actually uh, in the plain text are actually replaced by some other strings, equivalent strings using the different methods, substitution methods. So either you can transmit a text or bits by simply substituting some other uh, alphabet or a bit pattern for corresponding plain text. So there are different types of substitution methods which you know, we use. The first very first one is Caesar cipher. Okay. The second one is monoalphabetic cipher. The third one is Playfair cipher. The fourth one is polyalphabetic cipher. Hill cipher is a very important one. Wigner cipher, Vernon cipher, OTP that is one time pad method and rail fence cipher and row transmission cipher. Okay. So in this video, let us discuss in detail about Caesar cipher, which is in fact uh, used by Julius Caesar. Okay. So in early days, uh, when uh, you know he used to transmit a text message in the cryptic language to his neighboring countries or friendly nations, he used to use this particular technique. That is, the, so the same method is actually called Caesar cipher. So what exactly the method is? Okay, so let us say we have uh, alphabets. He is trying to send some alphabets over there uh, in the form of a uh, text. Okay, so we let us uh, number each alphabet, the 26 alphabets, with the corresponding digits here. Like say A is 0, B is 1, and uh, accordingly Z equal to 25. So we also we have totally have 26 alphabets over here. Okay, now suppose you, you want to send a particular text or the Caesar, Julius Caesar, whenever he used to send a text to the neighboring countries. So what he used to do is, he is going to replace or substitute for every alphabet with some other alphabet. Okay, so that is, he is going to replace a particular alphabet by the corresponding alphabet which is which comes three places after that particular alphabet. That means, for a particular number, you just add a three. Suppose, he wants to send A, add 3 to this particular number that is 0 that is equal to what 3 right so that is 0 is actually replaced by 3 corresponding plain text alphabet that is a is replaced by b in the cipher text b is replaced by e because 1 plus 3 is 4 the fourth alphabet is e so every b is replaced by substituted by e c is replaced by f okay and d is replaced by g like this plus 3 just add 3 to it and finally when we reach say x okay so x is uh, 23 here the corresponding number plus 3 is uh, 26 we don't have any alphabet over here after 25 right so we have to wrap up to say the alphabet a here just wrap up the, uh, to a that is uh, x is actually replaced by uh, a y is replaced by corresponding alphabet again b and z is replaced by c it is equivalent to uh, doing that mod 26 okay that is say 23 i have a 23 here plus 3 then i want to know the equivalent uh, cipher text for this 23 plus 3 is 26 right 23 uh, plus 3 is actually 26 so 26 mod 26 why mod 26 that is because you have total of uh, 26 alphabets so take a mod 26 to this so what we get it is 0 correct so the 0th alphabet is nothing but it is a say for y it is 24 plus 3 is 27 so 27 mod 26 that is uh, how much it is 27 mod 26 is nothing but it is 1 right they find the reminders that's it 27 is 1 so the first alphabet is b that means y is replaced by b and z is replaced by uh, c okay so this is the technique used by uh, julius caesar now let us say i have a, one, a particular example uh, that is uh, hello okay the word hello i have and say julius caesar wants to send hello 
to his uh, friends. Okay, so H has to be replaced by what here? Corresponding three, uh, you know, places you have to consider. That is nothing but it is seven plus three is ten replaced by K, and E is replaced by what? E is replaced by four plus three is seven H. Similarly, you replace all other alphabets over there, and corresponding cipher text what we get is nothing but it is K H O O R, which is meaningless you can say no um, english word exists with this particular uh, combination of alphabet cool so hello is replaced by cool nobody can under understand it it is a cryptic uh, you know cipher you can say now say similarly my name is arun upadhyaya so if i convert my name into the cryptic language or encrypted form what i'll get plus 3 to all the individual alphabets that's it so we get something like this so instead of sending say you know, Arun Upadhyaya, I will send this, which is meaningless, unintelligible uh, uh, language, you can say. Nobody can understand this language, right? So, it is a cryptographic technique used by Julius Caesar. Now, <clears throat> just once again, erase uh, the things which are not required here. Just once again. Yes. Fine. Similarly, you just take this example. This is the one message I want to send to uh, my friend. Let us say, meet me after the toga party. Okay, corresponding cipher test will be something like this. I want, I will send this. Okay, and my friend will understand uh, this particular cryptic language because he or she knows that this is a Caesar cipher where we have actually added three to every alphabet, the corresponding number of the every alphabet. So what he is supposed to do, suppose he wants to understand the language or, or the uh, plain text, whatever no, I had sent to him or her, in that case, he just have to subtract the three. Okay, so while encrypting, we have added three, while decryption, you have to subtract the three uh, for this particular cipher text. So when I subtract three, what I'll get, I'll get the same code. Like for example, say I have a P over here, okay, minus three, where is P? P is over here, right? Minus three, 15 minus three is 12. So corresponding uh, plain text, what I'll get is M. Yeah. So H, I have a H here. H is replaced by, say here, H is replaced by h is 7 minus 3 is 4 it is replaced by e again one more h i have replaced by e right t that is corresponding number is 19 minus 3 is 16 oh, sorry uh, yeah 19 uh, minus 3 is uh, 16 so i'm sorry uh, i have t yeah correct that is w and that is replaced by w i'm uh, sorry i'm very sorry for this w the corresponding code is w over here so w is 22 minus 3 is 19 replaced by t so i will get my first word that is meet okay again p and h minus 3 will give me uh, me okay so, so just to subtract 3 from these corresponding alphabets in the cipher text i will get back the original message now then that's, I, that's what i told earlier x is replaced by a y is replaced by b z is replaced by c mod 26 that's what the technique we use now Can you can define transformation? So what we can see here, A is replaced by D, okay, B is replaced by E, C is replaced by F. This is the technique you know we have uh, used, as I told earlier, numbers are being used, encryption algorithm, okay, mathematically if I represent it, encryption algorithm is something but 3 comma P, that means I'll get a cipher text C, okay, by applying or by adding 3 to the plain text. That is P plus 3 mod 26. And the decryption algorithm is decryption algorithm is okay so p plus k mod 26 where k takes on the value ranges from 1 to 25 okay so this is the technique you know we have used as i told earlier c minus k i'm sorry subtraction c minus k mod 26 will give you this so here this is an encryption technique we have used p plus k plain text plus 3 the key okay k is key here that is uh, 3 is the key used. I can use any key. I can use 1 as key. I can use 2 as key. I can use 5 as key. I can use 23 as key. From 0 to 25, any number can be used as key here. Okay. So just add that corresponding number and you share the key to the uh, received party so that you can subtract. Okay. You can subtract the same key value from the cipher text and to get back the original plain text. So this is the encryption algorithm, Caesar cipher algorithm uh, used by Julius Caesar. Now, yeah, what is the problem with this, okay, how 
the attacker can easily attack this particular method and decrypt the message. Okay. As I told earlier, there are only 20, 0 to 25, 26 possible keys. Okay. In this case, you apply 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all these corresponding numbers to the player cipher text and for one particular key, you will get a meaningful message. How? Let us see that uh, with you know this particular table. Now, the attacker who uses all the possible keys for decryption is attacker, remember, okay? He is the intruder, he wants to intrude between you and your friend. The communication, whatever happening between you and your friend. Just one second. Yeah, so what he does, he will, he, let us say he is having a cipher text, he has uh, received a you know, uh, cipher text what, and he knows that we are actually using a Caesar cipher. What he will do is, he will apply all the possible keys and he will subtract the uh, number, corresponding number with the cipher text. Okay. For one particular number, he will get or he will come to know what is the actual transmitted messages. And this particular method of attacking is actually called as brute force, brute force script analysis method. Okay. Brute force technique. Trying with all possible keys. Now, just look at this table here. I have, uh, yeah. Okay. If it is no possible keys, you just try with all possible keys. Uh, I'm saying 25 because 0, nothing. With 0 as key, nothing will happen. Nothing will change. Right. 1 means shift by 1. Substitution by one, uh, no, I'll forget that. Now, just look at this. Okay, I have applied all the possible keys over here from 1 to 25, except that 0 because 0 keys can, uh, cannot be used. Okay, when I apply, say, uh, no, key 1, okay, that is cipher text subtracted by 1. P is replaced by minus 1, that is O. Just look at this, I have a O there. Right, so the P is replaced by O by subtracting 1, okay, then the H corresponding minus 1 is 6 replaced by G, corresponding again H is replaced by G, W is replaced by V because my key is 1, okay. Now for the same uh, cipher text, if suppose key used was 2 and if I subtract it 2, what I will get, I will get N, F, F, U, now, why because P the number is 15, minus 2 is 13, corresponding alphabet is N, right? Similarly, you apply 3, you apply 4, 5, up to 25, minus 25, okay? P minus 25, so you will get this particular uh, pen text, okay? So, attacker, attacker has only 25 keys to check, just 25 keys to check, okay? He will get all the possible messages, if it is user cipher technique, right? Now, just look at this, can you see anywhere a meaningful message all these are not meaningful message just look at this with a key equal to 3 we will come to know the actual plain text which I am trying to convey or transmit to the friend or to send to the send, uh, to my friend right so with a key 3 he will come to know the actual message so this particular technique of attack is called as brute force attack Okay, so this key which was used very early days, okay, by Julius Caesar is already broken and cannot be used nowadays. It's the simplest crypt, uh, cryptanalysis method or cryptographic technique used by Julius Caesar. Now just look at this, uh, you know, the sample of compressed text. So further, after encryption or before encryption, if you are able to compress the text, what can happen is, you can look the compressed text something like this. Okay, the compressed text, uh, you know, uh, text looks like this, which is completely meaningless. Nobody can understand this. So the technique, what kind? This compression can be uh, done by using any uh, compression algorithms, like say DCT. Okay, or say zip. We always use a zip technique for compressing the data and transmit through email, right? Isn't it? Vindra and all those we have, right? Zip algorithms. So we can use such techniques before encryption algorithm or after encryption algorithm to further uh, scramble the text or you can say, you can trans uh, transfer that into some meaningless form. Nobody can understand it. So that's what I told, okay, encryption 
with the substitution cipher along with some encryption techniques can be used here which is unrecognizable right this is unrecognizable so we have two techniques encryption then compression or compression then encryption you use caesar cipher with a compression technique or you apply compression first then you use the caesar cipher so nowadays this is the most common technique that is you can say etc or cte okay most common technique where you can actually increase the uh, uh, you know uh, encryption and uh, recognition becomes very very difficult for a unauthorized users or the attackers so this is the very first technique which i have explained in this video called as caesar cipher thank you for watching